Hi, I am Somnath Bhattacharya. I am working in this nanoscale transport physics laboratory in the School of Physics, University of Wittersrand, Johannesburg. We work in the field of diamond and carbon materials. As you know, diamond is shiny, used in jewelry, and it's very attractive material. However, this is very important material for physicists and for quantum technologists. So we found a kind of diamond which is used for making quantum computers. And uh, we have a discovery which is published in New Journal of Physics, which shows that a spin transport in superconducting diamond can take place. And this is possible because we have seen a particular structure which is called grain boundary structure of diamond which is uh, boron doped and shows a very distinct superconducting transition at 4 Kelvin. Now uh, this, this, uh, uh, this transition is, uh, is explained by Andre tunneling through the grain boundary of diamond which acts as a potential barrier and that gives uh, an effect which is called spin orbit coupling and this is the reason we can see a new kind of superconductivity which is called spin triplet superconductivity which is first time observed in diamond. Now people have been working in superconductivity of diamond for 10 years and they could not understand why there is superconductivity in diamond which is boron doped. Now we resolved this long standing problem of superconductivity in diamond through direct observation of spin triplet superconductivity in diamond. We correlate this observation with the microstructure which is done at Oxford University using ultra high resolution microscopy of diamond interface. We have performed extensively low temperature conductivity of this material down to 0.3 Kelvin and in the presence of magnetic field and rotating magnetic field and we have seen a very special peak which is called zero bias conductance peaks which appeared as a zero voltage applied to the sample and this is the signature of spin triplet superconductivity which is observed first time in diamond. Now what we can do we are planning to develop a full quantum simulator or quantum computer based on this superconducting diamond. Because diamond is, is the hardest material and it supports very high frequency transport and optical properties, we can have a hybrid quantum system first time possible in diamond materials. So I thank my team members for this research work and the editors and the reviewers of New Journal of Physics for publishing this work. Thank you very much.